Hello you. Back for another one of these and I'm already straying from my intended remit for this uh, playlist by uh, doing something that's not something from back in the day but something brand new to me. So well done Rob, doing well already. Uh, but it is kind of related to the previous video that I've done in this playlist so um, I figured yeah I, I might as well so um, Without further ado, this arrived today. Um, let's zoom in so you can see it all. Mind the knees, ignore the knees, and 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 the horrible grubby fingers because I was cleaning the oven yesterday. I have cleaned them, but um, yeah. Uh, right. I don't normally do unboxings, do I? But um, I, I I saw this uh, recently and went, oh, I I have to have these. Uh, I, I I must I must hang on. Have I got this? Oh, the I peeled the label off now I don't know which is top and which is bottom. I think I think that's the top. So obviously you'll know already from the title what it is. Come on. There we go. But aside from pictures online, I have not seen what these are like. Oh, okay, we've got some, uh... can I zoom out anymore? Ooh. No, that's as much as we can zoom out. Well, let's, uh... oh, yeah, this isn't, uh, let's, uh... Oh look, you can't see because of the reflections. Marvellous. What if, if I uh, close the blinds? Can we still see? Uh, well, mm, something like that perhaps. It's very shiny that, isn't it? It's Vincent and Bob. Vital information necessary centralised. And Bob, when they never explained what Bob stood for. Look, Maximilian available as well, but the pictures of Maximilian, the head looked wrong. So I, I thought, no, I, I, no, I don't fancy that. I want Vincent and Bob, because they look cool and they've got interchangeable arms and things. So, how do we get in? Hmm. I think we cut into the backing round round here, don't we? So, just as well, got the Stanley knife. Oh, there's even a. Can we, we can peel that off if we wanted to. It's not particularly well stuck on. Um, so I'll show you the full box, I guess. You know, it is sideways. That's. That's pretty much it, isn't it? Yeah, seeing as I'd done Black Hole recently, I thought, oh, as soon as I saw this, I went, oh, I, ha I have to have these. I don't normally buy, I don't, I don't normally buy expensive adult toys. Um, money and things, it, it does feel a bit of a expensive extravagance. But, special occasions and all of that and stuck in the house at the moment and I haven't really been out anyway so I haven't had to put petrol in the car for I don't know how long and you know making excuses I can treat myself occasionally can't I instead of just having to pay bills all the time and I just figured, if you don't get these now, they're probably going to go up in price and they'll, they'll be ridiculously expensive and you'll regret not getting it. No, I missed a bit there. You can tell I'm not used to this unboxing lark, can't you? Oh, we have a... We have a display platform for them. Black hole visualization sort of background, and that box can go there. 
There we go. Cool. Toys, toys, toys. Oh, they're on twisty things. Hope this squeaking isn't too bad for headphone listeners. Come on, where is it? You know what? Oh my word. That's quite tough twisty toes. We have Vincent. Ooh, how can we, there we go. Vincent's bum. Yeah, come on, on the camera. There we are on camera. It's very light, actually. It also feels a little on the flimsy side. I'm guessing because the oh, pretty much light. I zoom in here and angle it this way a bit. That works for me and for you, hopefully. So he's he's got his arms displayed like like Vitruvian man. Can we and we can pull his arms off? Without snapping anything, hopefully. There we go. And then let's uh, get the extra bits out. Oh, you know what? Before we start playing with him properly, let's get old Bob out of his encasing as well. Old Bob feels a bit heavier, feels a bit heftier. Older technology, obviously. There's a bit of a weight to him. So, so what are all these little bits that we have here held on by sellotape? Make another arm. Oh, these are awkward. This is why Ashens does jump cuts to everything being unpacked, isn't it? But there we go. Ah, extended guns. Ah. Lots and lots and lots of bits and pieces to lose. Marvellous. Or to get thrown in a drawer and forgotten about. Right. That's all the bits off that, so that can get on the floor make an awful noise, sorry. So what do we have here? We have more stuff to that. We've got more twisty ties. These are awkward twisty ties. Really? I see. Um, sort of knife. Okay, I'm not doing this on camera, am I? I hope that didn't just break. Oh no, it all comes apart. That's all right. Let's do it like that then. Let's zoom out again so you can see my legs. <laughs> These are finicky. Should have got some wire snips instead. In fact, no, they're not to hand. <laughs> Arse. Ah, phew, it didn't roll too far. Let's just get one of those out for now. Hole in his back. Do I angle at all? I don't want to. Let's, let's try this one instead. So then you can have them on display stand. You can have them flying about in all sorts of weird and wonderful configurations. 
They do feel a little brittle though. I don't really want to go twist it. I guess you're supposed to... Ooh, have I got a screwdriver handy? I might have a screwdriver here. How handy. Can we loosen them a bit? Still a little unwilling to move. Ah, there we go. So, where's the actual. Ah! Oh, flipping Nora! too loose so let's get it to where we want it and tighten him up oh he's a bit top heavy now can we angle it that way a bit oh <laughs> yeah very very wobbly but still kind of fun really going to be having fun getting these angled just how you want them but let's um, take them off and play with the actual toys rather than the stands for now let's um, get this bit out can we just thread this it's kind of hooked through a hole I don't know if you, can, you probably can't see Ooh, where are we can you focus on that bit please See, they've you kind of got to push these T-shaped ends through the holes, I think. To, but they're slightly rubbery, so they don't want to. And there we go, got that one. Right, we have some railings. Don't want to fit. Yes, they do. Other way around, there we go. Well, they don't want to fit too well. Is it that way around? They are just rectangular, so. Come on. Now that one sprung out the other end. Well, I've got the end bits in, but the centre bit doesn't want to go in. Can I just push it ever so gently without snapping anything? Kind of, maybe. No, it's just popping out again. How irritating. It looks like it's supposed to go in one way round. It really doesn't want to go in that way around for some strange reason. This is making for thrilling viewing, isn't it? Can Rob assemble a simple railing without snapping it? And that central one looks like it needs shaving down with a Stanley knife or something to make it fit in the hole. The hole is really rather tight and I don't want to snap this by using too much force so I think we'll just go with that for now that's kind of fun and then you can just kind of rest them up against it I guess if you don't want to fanny around with the um oh, oh look it, its head moves let's zoom in so you can see this again so his head dilts around we go all the way around. Yep. There we go. There you go. Turn it back again for me. There's a slight notch to it. There's a notch there and there. I'm guessing it, that'll change as you move around. So 
His arm, his arm, will it, will it, will it, will it, will it? It'll wiggle around. Whether it's meant to come out, I don't think it is. So he doesn't have any interchangeable parts, it would seem. Even though you've got all these spare bits, you can't give him new legs or anything. And Vincent, if I remember correctly, yep, from the photos, you can do a surprised look. His head isn't glowing, but then I guess that would involve batteries as well. Over here, Rob, over here. It would involve batteries then as well, wouldn't it? So, hide him completely. Yeah, that's cool. And I'm guessing these must... And you can put his... Put his legs away. Ooh, squeaky. So you can have him in that mode. Does say anything on that TV? It's got kind of a readout on the TV in the front of him. Ooh, over here, Rob. So, nice bit of detail there. Some nice detailed printing on him. Vincent LF396, apparently. Is it sound the back one? Yeah. I might be able to see better if I hold him up to the camera. 1970, 1870, alright. Oh, yeah, so that's nice. Now, other bits and pieces. So, Snap his arms out and you can give him extending. Well, I would give him extending arms, but that doesn't seem to fit too well. It's a bit tight, that, but there we go. He's, he can reach out for things. Now, the, these gun things, how do I. Because obviously, we've got guns which should stick out. How do I get those out without scratching them? Oh, and also, you can cover over his arm holes. So his side arm bits. I'll stick it out again. Slight. See the. I'll bring them closer so we can focus. Like I said, mind my finger. Ignore my fingernails, please. There's a slight lug there, which makes that a bit. Not the best fit, so I'm going to have to trim that and try not to cut my fingers and make them look even worse. So now we have a slight black bit there now, but better than having a bit that doesn't fit, I guess. Oh look, there we go, it fits and now you can't see it. So that's better, but how the heck do we change his arms? Hang on, were those, hang on, were those the side arm bits and these are the these are the bits that are supposed to go on his front. Oh hello, I just noticed there's a Okay, he's got a he's got a whole thing at the front with the little he's full of surprises, isn't he? So what's that bit for? Ah that'd be for that thing then, was it? The bit that, spoilers, he um, used on uh, Maximilian towards the end. He said, full of surprises. Old Maxi wasn't expecting that. Sort of drill thing that he sticks out. We'll call it a drill. It's coming out from under his chin, not from his groin. Um, how the heck do we get... They're not spring-loaded. I'm going to have to stick something in there to lever them out, aren't I? I don't want to scratch anything. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, 
are there any other little buttons or catches or anything that will cause them to spring out at all? I don't think so. Oh, well, that's a bit weird. On that side, covered. On that side, open. Am I missing a bit? Inside of his arm, you can see inside his arm on that one. And you can't on that one. Hmm. So possibly not the greatest quality there with some bits not quite fitting and but I don't know how to fit these arms I mean they're not from old Bob old Bob is like basically a one solid unit kind of scuffily painted but I guess it it's old Bob that that's kind of how he is isn't it yeah kind of makes me feel I think the um uh, Big Daddy figurine you got with the special uh, copies of um, Bioshock, even right down to slightly shonky painting on the underside. But don't go looking at his underside. Um, can I use a razor blade at the edge to. Yes, razor blade. Just gives you enough in there to put his extending guns on. I suppose I'll have to do the other one now, won't I? So just dig it in at the edge slightly. And hopefully don't break off the tip of your razor blade. There we go. And stick his other gun arm on. Ha ha! I suppose I ought to clear and close those up. Oh yes, he hasn't got an arm in there now, has he? Um, let's put his arm back in. So that's kind of cool. Also that looks slightly wonky. Should that be Notice one gun is straight and the other isn't. Hmm. Hmm. Why is why is that all twisted around like that? For that to be for that end to be straight. The, can I? Oh, there we go. I can, you can turn. You can straighten it up a bit. So that's a bit better. Yeah, so um, I, I don't generally do this sort of thing, so I don't know, is this really, really shoddy quality, or is this what they're normally like, these expensive plastic toys for um, tragic men-child like me, men-child, man-childs, yeah. oh, squeaky, so Vincent can turn his head left and right, but can't look up and down too well, whereas Bob can at least look up and down and all around. Hmm. Yeah, can't really make him... That is literally only meant to go left and right. So, do I keep those guns on him, or... He's got a slight... Something on his eye there as well, I don't know if you can... Here's a blip on... Where are we on the... See that blip on his eye there? The more you look, the more things you notice, eh? <laughs> yeah, do I want those guns or...? Hmm. Hmm. I think I'll leave those guns on him for now. And... Now... I do not know what these bits are for. Is that for these or something? No. Is this for not losing bit what's what's the what are these for? I mean I'm wondering if they're for something like No. No. 
Uh, I mean, they, they, they match. They've got a square. Can't see what I'm doing. Rob, what are you doing? Let's put that knife away before I cut something with it. And drop bits on the floor. These things have square notches, which kind of fit on here, but I doubt that's what they're for. Is it for... No, I don't. I do not know what these are for. Ah. They're for notching into the underside, so I guess the Maximilian one has another has another piece that, that goes along there and then these notch together. But obviously I don't need these. Because I've not got the Maximilian. So, hmm. Um, thing being now, you can just stand them on there, I guess, and put them so that you can see them. Oh dear, Bob's been drinking again. I suppose you could do that. Just have them leaning up against the fence like a couple of winos. Um, or. You can have these incredibly wobbly stands for them. Which are kind of fun, but I get the feeling that they're going to be falling over when you least expect them to. But they're kind of fun the way they wobble, but also in other ways I'd rather they didn't wobble. Shall we get the other one going and... Can I just cut these and get these out quickly? Right, and... Are you going to fit neatly in that? Are you going to be... Oh, that's that's very wobbly. Um, that you can hold straight. Oh no, this is um, very very awkward. <laughs> that really needs tightening. That screw. Is that going to hold him? Because he's quite weighty, is old Bob. I'm not fat shaming or anything, but. Get him to stay upright and... Oh, this is going to be very, very awkward. Yeah. Are you going to... No. Vincent, you go there. Vincent's that bit lighter, so it doesn't seem to... Not such a problem. Oh, no, 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 no. That went well. That needs to go back there and then tighten that. Right, you're gonna. Oh, for heaven's sake, boy. Right, do please let me know if there's some special way of doing these. There we go. Right. And then I guess you put that behind them. Hmm. So. Can't really see them too well from up there, can you? So I will quickly get this off the tripod. Bear with me a moment. Let's get that tripod out of the way. And show you against the, the lovely backdrop of a radiator. 
So they kind of look cool like that. Just don't touch them or breathe too heavily on them. Now I've got to work out where the heck I'm going to put them, and all of these bits. Like I said, I don't really do expensive man-child toys too often, because I prefer to spend my I prefer to spend my money on computers, <laughs> hardware like that. That's uh, I can do more with that. Whereas each one of these, cool though they are, take up space that could be could be used for more computers or games. But uh, hang on, let's. See, because I have milk and cheese, and I have a Sonic coin box, and I have Hi-Hatchy, and uh, Megabyte there, and a flashing Imperious Leader, and a startled Ovion. Ovion? Ovioid? Ovion? Something like that. With a, out walking his dog he was, and then Imperious Leader came along and did that. Starship Troopers, uh, Clendethu uh, Warrior Bug. Uh, Burger King. Universal Monsters, Hellboy and Cronin, a ATST. There's me, um, Ghost in the Shell stuff, Dread, Johnny Bravo, terrible, terrible things from Coin Shover Machine in <laughs> from Swanage. Oh, and uh, yes, there's the um, rather poorly painted Bioshock Big Daddy, Great Gonzo. There we go. There's one for back in the day. I've had Great Gonzo since I was about seven years old or thereabouts I think so no idea where it came from but I've had him for decades <laughs> so oh yeah and some um, dead or alive extreme beach volleyball babes um, oh and dread down there still hogging the arcade machine like he always does uh, so yeah where am I gonna put the like I I've got my um black old cards in my fallout case Thank you, Villa Lord Such. Uh, so I've got my um, Fallout stuff in there. Could should I shut sh sh all that up and make? Mm, could do. Oh yeah, and then there's um, the Rebel Transport with uh, Kirk and Spock doing a Thelma and Louise with the back filled with the inhabitants of the Mushroom Kingdom. You know, as you do. Um, alt alarm clock. And then we've got. Um, Ghost in the Shell and Reboot, Hack and Slash. See, Hack and Slash can stand up if you haven't lost the base. Unfortunately, I have lost his base. So I, I could, if they'd done something like that with them, um, with Vincent and Bob, that would have worked. Oh yeah, and uh, Usagi Yojimbo, Samurai Warrior from. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Um, Samurai Warrior, Samurai Warrior, right there, dead center. With uh, Samurai Jack protecting my copies of uh, Great Yarn Sisters. And various cars, and Daleks, and Guile, and more Daleks, and so on. And uh, yeah, th you can see why I don't generally um, buy plastic toys because I've got. Oh, hang on, we've got a um, Tachikoma stuffed to stuff toy up there. And um, still some more. Um, we've got um, Murphy with his Commodore 64. And uh, that's not the right type of barrel to be standing on there, Mario. <coughs> oh, and, um, yeah, pull back and go Mario cards are up there at the moment, because um, I keep knocking them off when they're over there. So they're just up there for now. Um, oh, yes, and um, he seemed like a good fit for the um, Llama Soft uh, Shrine. Um, yeah, so where to, where to put these? I do not know, but they are kind of cool, aren't they? I, I, I do like them. Jonky, jonky though the painting is a bit on them and the fit of some of the parts, it is nice that you've got plenty of options. And as long as I don't touch them too much, look, we can we can make them wobble. Doesn't seem to be falling down, so maybe we've got them right there. Yeah, they should be all right, I guess. Wait for a crash in the night when I hear them fall down. So, um, you know what, maybe pick them up by that part.
Yeah. Oh, you are so much heavier. Come on, I need to get back to fil filming some people. Oh, heck. Well, you have a lie down there for a bit then. Yeah, this is possibly not the best. I go for any of these games here I'm gonna be knocking him well well we'll have to work something out we'll find somewhere for them because I think they kind of fit there but uh, yeah we'll uh, maybe Bob will just have to lie down on the ground like so Hmm. Well, there we go. That is Vincent and Bob, the, what are they, Disney, Disney Select Classic Figures range, I think they are. We can have a proper look at the box now, perhaps. So, oh, we didn't read that bit on the back there, did we? So I'm not going to read that now. Pause that there and uh, have a read. See what you think. So uh, yeah, yeah, that's that Maximilian. His head doesn't seem so bad in the pictures that I've seen. It seems too elongated and looks wrong. Should be more squat, I think. But uh, do I want to get Maximilian? I don't know. Thirty quid, mind. So that's a lot to spend on a lump of plastic. As those do. Lumps of plastic with electrical bits inside. Ooh. Or, you know, bills and stuff. Boring stuff. But, uh, yeah, do, should I put him... Should I put them there? Don't know. Well, I, I shall have a think about it and... Um, we'll see. We'll see where they end up. But uh, they can live there for a short while, while I, uh, while I think about it. So, uh, yeah, there we go. Vincent and Bob, the Disney Select Classic figures. Also available, I think, was um, yeah Maximilian and the Rocketeer, which looks cool. And I do really like the Rocketeer, uh, but I like Black Hole more. Uh, I, I figured, no, I have to have these. Well, I didn't have to, but, you know, <laughs> excuses, excuses. I wanted these. I wanted them and I had them. So, uh, yeah, he look, oh, Vincent looks cool there, but Bob... Yeah, I am old Bob as well, and both of us need to lose some weight. We are both too heavy, matey. We need to do something about this. Hmm. Well, there we go, yeah. Enough rambling. There we go. Good bit to end on there? I think so. Hope you enjoyed watching. Catch you on the next one, maybe. Ta-ta!